Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a cheesy bacon ranch potato wedges. We're gonna put it all on the Blackstone griddle. You guys stay tuned. All right, so my wife is a huge fan of bacon and cheese ranch potatoes. It doesn't matter for the wedge, fries, you name it. So she had this hankering the other day. We're at a restaurant, she ordered them and just absolutely devoured the whole plate before the whole table could even have any. And it she was like steak fries. It was. And she said, can you make these? I'm like, yeah, it's just bacon, potatoes, and cheese. And she's like, yeah, but can you make them better? Don't challenge me to a good time. Let's go. All right. You got bacon, probably way more than what you get when you order it. You got a good whole hunk of cheese. We got our potato wedges. It's a, your standard rusted potato. Just cut them in uh, sixes, as you guys can see like that. So that's cut in half. And then I just cut them in sixes. I parboiled them. And then we just let them drain on this cookie sheet right here. A little elevated to get all that water off. Okay, for the beginners, like me, explain parboil. what parboil is. Pre-cook. So you cook them in the boiling water uh, to right before the fork tender. You don't want to overcook them because they will get mushy. And you're just taking the rawness off of them. That way when you put them in the flat top, you're not going to overcook your potato because it takes so long to cook that you would brown it and burn it on the outside before the inside cooks. Okay. Right here, I don't know about you guys, but when she challenged me, I said I can't just take ranch dressing out of the bottle. So I made my homemade ranch. We're gonna let it set up to see what it tastes like tomorrow because you guys know that if you make something, it's better the next day. But of course, I added some horseradish to it. I just think it's that extra kick that I'm looking for. Season to stay, you gotta have good old Lowry's. Season salt, and this is a little bit of seasoning I've been working on. We're gonna try it on potatoes today, see if we can up the flavor. You ready? Yep. All right, I'll just open the uh, the pack of bacon, cut it in half. I'm gonna kinda do like a little bit more bigger chunks. I think it's gonna work well. Remember, it's gonna render out. The pieces will shrink on the griddle. Save a little bit of that grease if you can, cause that will help fry the potatoes. And if we're talking about flavor, bacon fat has got to be uno numero. Numero uno. What's that say? Uno numero. Something like that. All we're doing with bacon, you guys see me cook the bacon a thousand times. I just want to get it, render the fat out, get it crispy, drain off the paper towels, save some of that grease. All right, in a large mixing bowl, I'm also going to add like a light, I don't know if there's a light or heavy tablespoon. I'm just looking for how much coatage I'm going to have. I don't want too much, but this just helps. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So I'll say a good tablespoon for six potatoes. Okay. And then you're gonna season accordingly. However much you like. Remember, potatoes can take a lot of seasoning. And mix it all together. Save some of that seasoning in the bottom. You're gonna save that. When these potatoes start cooking and that oil gets on there, you can come back and season again. And that way you start building flavor or layers of flavor. Take that box of cheddar cheese. This is one of the few times where I do agree that grating your own has its benefits. All right, I got my little lodge cast iron dishes right here. We're gonna warm those up because we're gonna dome those, allow the cheese to melt. You definitely can use your air fryer, but since most people don't have an air fryer attached to the griddle, I'm just gonna dome it today. Just moving this bacon around. Remember that grease I'm talking about saving? Just like that. As that grease renders out, we're just gonna keep it just like that, okay? All right, they're pretty much ready to flip. Just gonna kind of show you real, really quick the browning. Can you see that? And right when you flip them, remember that seasoning that we saved? That's when we're gonna season them. It's got the oil base on there, just like when you frost something, right? You wanna season it as soon as it comes out of the fryer. This is one advantage.
I have no idea how long these take to cook. A lot of variables. We've had crazy wind today. We've had a burner blowout. We went out and reignited that. Depends on how hot your water is, the parable, how big your russets are, how big your grill you got, how much more space you have. I've been able to move my potatoes pretty freely to different spots. So what you're looking for is crispness, color, and doneness. Okay, you don't want to overcook it coming out of the water because it will be on the griddle a little bit of while. You know, it, you want to be able to fry it. So just remember that. So what you're saying is you don't want to cook it until they're like completely done when you're boiling them. Correct, correct. And I have no, oh, see, I will say this. I told Amy that the second side won't take near as long as the first side because a lot of that heat's got to penetrate that potato. And that's what I'm finding out. God, look how good they look. Oh, they look good. We might have created a fry seasoning. <laughs> and that homemade ranch. <laughs> that homemade oh, ranch. Point. Yep. With a horseradish. All right, I'll just kind of mix them all together. Been fluffing them around. We tasted one. We both agreed it could handle a little bit more seasoning. So give it a good coat. All right, so we had a little malfunction. That's what happens. I told my wife, uh, you can't argue with her. So I told her I wanted to use this. She said, not everybody has that. And I said, not everybody has a griddle, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. I just like the idea of the family style platter. She wanted me to use these. And of course I told her not all the ingredients were going to fit. And you were right. <laughs> That's about, <laughs> I said that right on purpose. So there were <laughs> witnesses. <laughs> I don't say it often, but when I do, boy, I make it count. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we got the potatoes. I'm just going back here with that grated cheese. I just want you to know if we finish this whole plate today, which oh, it looks we like will. we're going to. That's three potatoes each. And a whole block of cheese and a half a pound of bacon. <laughs> Hey, this, my, is, this is cheat day. That's my girl. What was your uh, pizza? I didn't have pizza this week. You just had a pizza grilled cheese? Oh, that was... Oh, that doesn't count. That, was, right. that was small. That heat's going to penetrate through that cast iron, and it's going to continue to cook those potatoes through. I'm going to dome it right now and come back and check on in a couple minutes. Let's give it a sneak peek under the hood. Put a little moisture in there. That helps to kind of melt the cheese a little bit more. All right, guys, there you go. Just because I can have a little vegetable today, a little healthy vegetable. All right, guys, there you go. Look, we got our homemade ranch with that horseradish kick. The bacon, the green onion, the seasoning. Make sure you guys check out the flattopking.com where you can find this incredible recipe. This ranch dressing is on point. <laughs> I'm not gonna try a bite because I know it's super hot. <laughs> I'm gonna let it cool. Flavor overload. The key is a good seasoning. Ours wasn't far off. Is it the world's greatest for potatoes? Yeah, dang, I nailed it. Holy smokes. And I didn't even make it for potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's how you do a skillet of it. It looks good. Cheesy I mean, bacon ranch potatoes. I'm going to eat a whole potato and a half and not even be sad about it. <laughs> hey, guys, if you're interested, we have a membership. It's the join button down below. Take a chance. Look at it, see if you guys are interested. If you have, thank you very much. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. It's where we talk about griddles. It's where my wife comes up with crazy cocktails like this when she's craving food. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. God, that looks good, honey. Mm. <laughs>